Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. I'm back at my Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous campaign. Last time we um, had a victory against the leader of Winter Sun. This was a really, really bad thing. This wasn't nice. Okay, that's not good. Okay, not over. This was a really terrible thing. Let's unlock. Oh, what's this? Of heroism, braces of dominance. Whenever the wearer of this braces confirms a, confirms a critical hit with a two-handed weapon, the enemy with a two-handed weapon must pass the will save throw or become unable to attack all round. That's nice. If we would have two-handed weapons. Ah, but on the other hand, she has a two-handed weapon. Probably we should give it to her. Is this two-handed? I mean, it's two-handed. Yeah. So, probably this counts. Also, we get the Ring of Protection, and what's this? Mighty Fists. Uh, two to natural attacks. Natural weapons. Hmm. Probably better. You take this and you get the plus three. Wait, natural armor? Ah, oh. because you have now. Okay. I'll go ahead. Okay, what's here? This does look not good. That's a frozen swimming pool, isn't it? Interesting. Ah, it's for the dragon, probably. Because he was an ice dragon. Okay, let's save game first, before we do anything else. And you? Let's heal the pig once. And now, let's move on to the secret passage. Oh, it's outside, not to some cave. So this is the back side of the sun. Is the wounded Marhevok is shivering as if from a fever. He tries to take the human skull from the plinth in front of the Lady of the Sun statue. 
but his weakened grip spasms and the skull rolls toward you, stopping at your feet. The warrior watches it with stricken eyes, muttering, Key, before turning to the statue, we got a bone key. My lady, my love, forgive me, I failed you. I lost. Even didn't even keep the key safe after you gave it to me. Come, protect our winter sun. But if you can't, take me away. Take me to your castle in the clouds. Well, we could take him away. Marhevok's prayer does not go unanswered. A shadow unnaturally narrow and trembling separates from the Lady of the Sun statue floats above the ground. A delicate hand, or maybe a claw, reaches out and touches the slumped head of the dying warrior with a soft, almost tender gesture. Ah, uh, she's red. I don't like that. Cherry Beth. And then you hear her hear an airy, otherworldly voice directly in your mind. Why are you mortals so fond of breaking other people's toys? Well, I didn't break him. He, he attacked me. So you're the rot that's festering in winter sun. You're a despicable beast and you don't deserve any other name. My kinsmen, my neighbors have suffered because of you. Death would be too light a punishment for you. So, you're the Lady of the Sun? That is what they call me here, replies the insect-like shadow. But you may call me by another name, Jerry Beth. What have you done to these people? I merely planted a few ideas in their heads. Laughter high in the bracelet, like a buzzing insect, reverberates in your mind. It is elegant in its simplicity. I make all the people of Wintersun see demons as humans, elves, dwarfs, and they see real mortals as demons. Ah, yeah, well. That explains a lot. They live in a topsy-turvy world where the lands of the world wound are teeming with brave crusaders and their dresden and was recently captured by an army of hideous monsters from the abyss. If your firebrand queen Gelfry go up here, the people would ha take her one for one of Beskari's spawn and try to slay her on the spot. And the children of Winter Sun already have so much blood on their hands. Every wary traveler who happened to discover the, this mortal oasis the midst of the hot lands of the world wound, who rushed with brimming hope towards it, toward its walls, died at the hands of the clan, and they all fervently believed that they were fighting demons. Hmm. Why did other demons visit here? There is no other place in all the world wound like my little winter sun. I don't allow other demons to kill the people in my domain. Instead, they come here to play. They shrug off their demon guise and pretend to be mortals. Even Lady Nocticula in the Midnight Isles does not offer such exotic amusement. You should find all this very familiar. You intuitively understand that these last words were not addressed to you. The demon has clearly allowed you to hear them at a courtesy, for you too are playing at being human. Isn't that so, Lucubus? No, you have created a tawdry parody of what I am striving to be. You could have made them believe anything, performed any number of miracles for them. You could have made their dreams come true, but all you did was poison their minds against their fellow mortals. You may have the powers of a demon, but you have little when it comes to intellect as if it an insect. <laughs> I've heard enough. You don't seem to be afraid at all, monster. What's stopping me from killing you here and now? 
Mahavok's shoulders convulse. He struggles in vain to stand and to shield the insect like shadow, like shadow from you. I will fly off to my sanctum faster than you can blink. Besides, are you ready to doom all of Winter Sun to a horrible fate? Asks the sly voice in your head. You probably want to open the poor barbarian's eyes to the truth. But you can't do that without my help. Even if you do, by some miracle, find a way to do it. The children of Winter Sun will have to live with the knowledge of what they've done all these years. They will recall every murdered crusader and traveler that they plunged their spares into or burned on a ritual pyre. Many of them will not survive the truth you will inflict on them. The rest will be cut down by demons, for I am the only one protecting them from such a fate even now. But I have a better solution. I will change the clan so that from this day forth they will see true mortals and demons alike as humans. I will make them believe that the Crusaders have won a final resounding victory, that peace now reigns in the world wound, and that all the demons have been driven back to the abyss. Every last one. Winter Sun will remain a peaceful oasis in the midst of chaos, neutral territory, and neither Crusaders nor demons will cross swords in battle. I will get to keep my wondrous domain, and your crusaders will never perish here again. What do you say to that, Commander? Oh, I can do this as Aeon Mythic Path break Cherubeth's spells. Oh, I can break her spells. What you have wrought here is a perversion of the natural order, and I have the power to correct it. Oh, snap of my finger. Hmm. Probably should have should do this. I can't do the lawful thing because last time I did something was the lawful thing. Um, I did want to do something chaotic, like say, okay, that's fine with me. Not a chance, you monster. You will free the people from your deception now, or you will regret it. I agree. Let this place be at peace. Why not? It won't hurt the clueless barbarians in the neutral zone. Yeah, okay, let's do the Aeon Mythic Path thing, because, I mean, I can do it. Outside, a clamor starts to swell. One, two, a dozen voices cry out in astonishment and horror. No, not me, please, rasps Marevo. Struggling to lift his head off the floor, gathering his strength, he barks out more clearly. I don't need the truth. I don't want to lose you, my lady. Stupid idiot. I knew. A creased smile warps the warrior's face. Yes, a long time ago, that you weren't who you seemed to be. But you brought peace to my people and me. And I kept your secret as best I could. I stamped out any suspicions, and the people who voiced them sometimes, I want to live in your light. I don't want to be without you. Again, another one, like the stupid dwarf. Rushalet turns pale and covers her mouth with her hand. Her ruby eyes are filled with undisguised horror. No matter how much I may despise those who serve as sycophants for the demons, there is some twisted beauty in you. Dado is brave enough to be honest about what he wants. I do not know many people who are capable of that. You cannot read the emotions on the creature's horrifying face, half hidden by shadows. If it answers Marivok, Marivok, it does wordlessly, directly in his mind. After a moment of silence, you have a voice in your head. Give him to me. Oh, 
My rock soul mutilated by his crimes lies open. Uh, before you like a before you like a book, you can see his pride and his agonizing love for his lady. Well, this would also be the Aeon thing, but it would be lawful, and we can't do the lawful thing. This is the truth. Chief Mahavok, you are guilty of betraying your clan. You are guilty of letting your sworn enemies into your home, trampling the memory and law of Sarkoris. You sentence this burden of truth on the thing that you loved. Well, it has something. He knew before, and I mean, you really, I, I really just plunged the whole city into dismay. Mm, yeah, why not? Thank you, Commander. You're a curious creature, and it is just possible that we may see each other again. Hopefully not. Next time I'll have to kill you. I'm returning to the Ivory Sanctum. The castle in the clouds, as they call it here. You have a key to my home, but will you find out how to use it? I will be expecting your visit. Okay. 240 experience. For this really, really interesting thing that we did. Geshmera. She's gone. I can feel it. I feel like something's changed. I will tell the people what you did for us, Commander. I know the way. Do you? Really? Uh, anything else? No. So these were weapons. What's this? Fixed obsession. This is a throwing axe. And another throwing axe from Braids. Never the wielder of this path through icy first throwing axe lands a hit against against new enemy. The enemy must pass a fortitude saving throw or become paralyzed for two rounds. Poo. And this one, whenever the this plus three king throwing X lands a hit, all its further attacks until the end of the round deal one additional force damage. Hmm. Nice, but do we have anyone who is capable of fighting with throwing axes? I mean, you have hand axes. What's the throwing axe? Yeah. An orc double A. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's probably it for today. Probably. Let's go back. No. that. Let's see how 
the city boats. <laughs> uh, we probably destroyed everything by whatever we did. Are there any people left? Or did all of them go away? Oh, there are still some peasants. There is some loot I didn't find. Good. Take everything. Peasant, are you still there? It's better to know the truth, no matter how painful it may be. Yeah, see? It was good. She was screaming and I killed her. I killed. Yeah. But now you don't have any... Um, strange symbols around you. Peasants. I don't think that we hear something else. Are there still some uh, demons inside? The demon. It's better to know the truth, no matter how. Oh, yeah, I knew that. What about you? You don't look so grieving. Hardship and struggle builds character. Winter Sun will survive. It's gone. Okay. Follow my lead. Let's move out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, I will stop here today. Um, next time I will be on the road again, because I will go outside of Winter Sun when I'm in between episodes. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.